If you are working with big scenes and have to render tremendous heavy scenes with millions of polygons that even Maya can't handle, then you have to learn how to use V-Ray Proxy. So without any further ado, let's get started. What is V-Ray Proxy? V-Ray Proxy imports a geometry from an external VR mesh file at render time only. The original heavy mesh is not present in the scene. Instead of this heavy mesh, only light geometry is shown in the viewport which is necessary for previewing. Let's render the scene and see the result. This allows the rendering of scenes with millions of polygons more than Maya itself can handle. You can see it here. How to create a V-Ray proxy. Before I create the V-Ray proxy, let's just quickly go to display, head sub display and turn on polycounts. You can see right now, this tree has 4,21,766 polycount of faces. Now, to create a proxy, I can click here on create V-Ray proxy icon or I can go to V-Ray, geometry, create V-Ray proxy. It can be at a different place if you have an older version of V-Ray. I am using V-Ray next. Click here. First, browse the path. Second, decide between these two options. They are actually two separate objects and I want to turn both of them into proxy files. Now, I can export both of these objects as a single file or I can export both of them as a separate file. I will keep them as a single file. Next, give it a name. After that, it's up to you, you want to overwrite the existing one or not. Next one, if you have an animation, you can turn it on. You can give it a, you can give it a simple range or use animation range, whatever you like. Since this tree has no animation, I will uncheck it. Now comes the most important option, make sure Automatically create proxies is checked. This option will make the VR mesh file plus it will also import it at the same place so that you don't have to import it again. Next, set the faces in preview. What does it mean? Currently, this tree has 4,21,766 faces. But in preview mode, I want it, let's say just 2500 or 5000 only, whatever number you want. Next, click create proxies. It will take a little bit of your time. Cancel it. Now the V-Ray proxy is created in the scene, but the mesh file is created in the folder on your hard disk. You can also see the number of faces that are reduced to just 4994. Select this mesh and go to your attribute editor by pressing Ctrl A or whatever method you like. Go to the VR mesh tab. That's my VR or V-Ray mesh tab. I can change the file from here if I want to change or go with some other V-Ray proxy, but I'm happy with this one. Next, let's check geometry to load. Right now it is in the preview mode. If I change it to placeholder, you can see it is reduced to a tiny point. Next, bounding box. It is just going to give it a box and you can see the faces have been reduced to six. 
but i don't like this bonding box because it's too big and it uh, actually occupies the space i can change it to my original mesh and i will have my mesh back or the best option is this change it to preview now render you can see on rendering i'm getting the original mesh cancel it if you want to change the material you can go to hyper shade i will delete any unused node okay if i right click here and go to my material attributes you can see there is a vr vray mesh material applied to it here is that material this material has actually two materials inside it if you remember they were actually two meshes so this material has this cherry leaf material and this tree bark material if you want to change these materials change the color if you want to change this red color then what you have to do is that you have to change this material which is here or you can simply click here and you will get into this material and if you change it it will also change this next if you want to duplicate it then select them go to your duplicate spatial and make sure make sure you have duplicate input graphs turned on and then duplicate it i can simply scale it down or i can go to my my mesh so that i can see what i'm doing right now and again change it back to bounding box or whatever you like and render it i am keeping it to bonding bonding box so that you can see that they both produce the same result okay guys you can see it here load to geometry is not going to matter the only thing that matters is your size and your positioning these kind of things for any reason if you want the original mesh back then simply go to restore the mesh and click here if you like my video give it a like if you love it subscribe to my channel and share the videos keep creating guys